Hello traders, welcome to invest2.com's how to series and uh, this uh, module on oscillators. Today we're going to uh, review the relative vigor index and uh, the RVI is actually an indicator that measures the conviction of a recent price action and the likelihood that it will continue. This means that we are going to use this oscillator to know if the current uh, trend is going to end or, or if um, this means that we are going to use this indicator to know or to uh, have a clue if the current trend is about to end or is if it's likely to continue. Uh, the RVI is composed of two moving average like curves, okay? These are not actual curves, but uh, they are actually RVI values. Um, the green line is the smoother RVI value and the red one is the signal line. This indicator is viewed as a leading indicator because with it you are going to know if a current trend is about to end. And uh, I'm going to show you how you are going to read this indicator. First of all, you, are, uh, you have to look at uh, the medium line, which is the zero line that separates the bear from the bull country, okay? Or the bearish from the bull, or the bearish from the bullish side. Now, the way you are going to use this indicator is you are going to try to spot a crossover at extreme levels, okay? Now, uh, for example, right here we have uh, this move to the upside, okay? Uh, let me just uh, put it inside of, um, of this um, channel. Now, we have this move to the upside and uh, when price hits the upside of the channel or the channel's resistance, uh, you are going to go and look at the RVI, okay? Now, when we hit this level, the RVI is still pointing up, okay? And uh, both the smoother RVI and the signal, signal line are pointing up. But then uh, you can see that the RVI has a bearish crossover at an extreme level, okay? When the bearish crossover at an extreme level happens, you uh, must close your position because this means that the current trend or the current move to the upside is about to shift. There's one thing you need to understand about the RVI and that is that uh, the actual change in the trend is it's not going to happen immediately. Now, another uh, good uh, indication that the trend is about to change is a divergence between the RVI and price. You can see here that price is making higher highs. You can see that we have the first high here and then we have a second high that is higher than the first high. And if you go to the RVI, you can see that we have a the first high right here and the second high is lower than the, s than the first high. This means that at this point right here, we have divergence between the instrument and price, which means that after having the actual uh, bearish crossover at an extreme, we have divergence between the instrument and price, meaning that now we know for sure that uh, this trend is about to change and that this uh, move to, to uh, the channel support is not a corrective move before price goes up, but is actually a move that is going to uh, break with the channel support and uh, is going to push price down. So this is basically how you're going to use the RBI. And uh, as I showed you on the, on the, well, on the bearish side of things, you can also use it on the bullish side of things. Meaning that I just showed you how to uh, read the end of a, uh, a bullish trend by uh, spotting bearish signals. You can do the same on the opposite side. Uh, by spotting bullish signals at the end of a bearish trend. And uh, if you want to know more about the RVI uh, or how to develop a trading system or simply how to trade price action um, or how to trend trade, just go uh, to invest2.com and go through our uh, different courses or you can, you can just go uh, to our advanced technical analysis course at invest2.com slash advanced